What is going on guys and welcome back to another Big G video. Now this is more of a beginners and how to build kind of situation that you guys have probably been asking me a fair bit. Uh, it's more along the lines of how to get started, what you're looking for in early game, what you're looking for in mid game, and what you're trying to push for for late game. Now there's a whole different topic towards late game because obviously what you start out in early game is not necessarily what you're going to end up with in late game. Now a lot of combinations out there obviously, but what are the best ones since patch 9.15? Well, thanks for asking. Now in patch 9.15, a lot of changes happened. Um, this is gonna be probably, like I said, more of a beginner tutorial for those who are looking to try and, you know, look out there and see what comps are the best ones out there. But there's a lot of good comps out there. Patch 9.15 really uh, fixed up a lot of problems that we had with a lot of the different builds. Demon builds were way too overpowered, and that was the main build that a lot of people were going. But since the new patch came out, there's a lot of different builds now that are really popping up and dealing a lot of damage and getting yourself and securing that win. So which ones are they? In Mobilytics, as you guys can see behind me, Mobilytics, Mobilytics is actually a website that you guys can access completely free and it tells you guys some of the best combinations and it updates regularly throughout each patch. So it saves me having to do a patch update every time. I thought I'd do this video once off just so you guys get a basic understanding. There is a website out there that can seriously help you guys and tell you guys step by step in different types of builds that you guys want to go and how to build them. So I'm going to go through a couple. I'm going to name which three are my favorite this patch so far and uh, we'll move on from there. So the first one, as you guys can see, is the Elemental Sorceress. So let's go into the Elemental Sorceress. Let's have a quick look and see what's there. Now, as you guys can see, the general general information are there and, uh, you know, the, the, the six champions that you'll need for the Elemental Sorcerers. Now, the Elemental Sorcerers are pretty much a basic build. It's Elementals and, obviously, Sorcerers. It's pretty basic. But it tells you, obviously, here, as you guys can see, all the early game stuff you're, gonna, you're kind of looking for. Uh, and then you're looking for your mid-game stuff and, obviously, towards your late-game stuff, you want to finish off with this. And it also tells you some of the items that you can get, uh, like Morella Nomicon, GA, which are probably the two best for Cannon. Um, doesn't matter what comp you go, those two items are really good. And a Morgana as well. Reason being for this comp is because you, you're mainly looking at AoE damage uh, with Sorcerer Elementalist. With Cannon and Morg, they do AoE damage, and you really want to focus on those guys, keeping them alive, and they can do the max amount of damage. Now, we're going to go through a couple. That's not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through a couple. And we're going to go back here. And there's a lot of different stuff out there. Um, like I said, if you go through this website, you guys can check it out. You guys can overlook it and, and just see which one you best suit. I know a lot of people like to go brawlers uh, on a regular basis. And maybe there could be something towards mid game that you always seem to do really well early game and then drop off towards late game. And maybe hopefully this website and, and my little tutorial here might be able to help you guys out in search of what you actually need to get you that last step over the edge to take home first place. Now... What we're going to look in here, my favorite, I'm going to show you guys my favorite, but there is a whole bunch of ones in here um, that you guys can choose from. But the ones that I've really seen that have been really dominating uh, in the plat, uh, plat division and what I've seen in higher elos from there, because I play plat myself at the moment, mid-plat. Mid, mid plat. So what you guys can see from there is actually the first one here is the Hunter and the Predator. Now this one's recently came in due to the fact that Void uh, now had got a huge buff uh, and does true damage. So now you're looking at uh, really buffing out the Rek'Sai because Rek'Sai is Void and Brawler. So in this combo, uh, it's really, really good to have. Um, and it's a really easy one to start off with and it wins early game and you can push to late game pretty easy with this build. Now as you guys can see, early game, you want to go for Rek'Sai and get the Void off the bat. So you want to try and get Void as soon as you can. That's pretty much key here. You want to try and get Void at, like as soon as you you can um, and then obviously mid game you get rid of Cassidy and chuck in your your Cho'Gaff and you got Void Assassins there out of the five so really when you get to five level five you kind of want to have the the three Assassins three Void combo wombo um, and then you're looking towards late game stuff where you start to push a little more along the lines of the four brawlers uh, and with the with the Void as well with the ninjas as well so that's probably the biggest comp right now probably the one of the ones I always see late game that really dominates and it will definitely probably get you if you can get this build down it'll probably get you at least top three top uh, top to majority of the time and uh, you, you're always starting to climb up your ranks from there like it's pretty decent build this one um, I'm gonna pop all the links down and below guys so you guys can all go through there and look at those builds and stuff like that but I, like I said this is more of a quick one I'm gonna fly out the city tomorrow so I want to do a quick video for you guys to help you guys out in this patch before the new all all the new stuff starts swarming in with all the new origins um, with hex tech and all that coming in so I wanted to show you guys quickly so you guys can help over yourselves over the weekend and push out uh, some good ranks before the new origin comes in so um, that is a really good build to go right now now it is the the hunter and the predator 
We're gonna go back again. The next one I want to look at is actually the Four Ranger one. Now that's that's probably one of my favorite ones to go, but it's one, probably one of the hardest ones to build um, because early game it's really really hard to maintain. Now the Ultimate Ranger formation is the one that I'm talking about. In this build, um, you're gonna need early game, which is pretty much the Noble buff early. Uh, which is really good early game. The Noble buff is really good early game, but it does drop off a fair bit mid-game. So mid-game is when you start to really drop off, and you really need to find a good way, a good balance between that to kind of hold your own and, and try and push that late-game late, late stuff. Um, because if you do really bad in the mid-game, you're going to end up losing the game and, or being too low to even come back from that. And that's the last thing you kind of want to do. So... <clears throat> As you guys can see here, mid game you want to go noble, and then you want to step it up to go double range your noble, um, and then you, you chuck in the uh, get rid of your Fiora, you chuck in the, the gunslinger, Lucian, and you go double ranger, noble buff with uh, the knight buff as well, uh, there with Mordekaiser. That is a really good mid game uh, thing, if you can get it. Like a lot of, a lot of the times it's really hard to get a Varus, um, and, and like a Lucian, all that, all this early mid game stuff. But if you can get it, it's really good. It also gives you formational situations as well, in case you guys are wondering where you, where you should position your form and how you should do it. This website's really great. Now, like I said, it's probably one of the best things. I always look at this, any new updates, any new builds, and that way I know if I see someone building this, I know what to look out for. So I may not necessarily build this myself, but it also gives me an idea when I see someone else's comp, I know what they're building and I know how to defend it. So it's always good to read up, always do your research on different types of builds, even if they're not your build that you go. So that way if you do see it, you're on top of it and you know exactly what to expect late game. So that's probably one of the better ones that I use. That is a really, really deadly combo. It ends up being Glacial, um, Phantom, uh, Guardian, and Four Rangers. So it's quite insane. Plus the Noble buff as well. Um, it's It's... Quite phenomenal. Um, and you can also add a Kale and stuff that late game, and, and that Kale's really going to be dominating um, towards late game as well. So, yeah, watch out for that one if you guys do end up seeing that on the battlefield. Now, moving on down. This is my, this is what that was, that was the top two so far. Uh, obviously, the Brawler one's probably the best one that I've seen that really dominates the, the high elo stuff. Um, but the Four Rangers also dominates. Uh, and we're going to move on now to what I also think uh, is the Imperial Guard. Now, this one here is the Draven Four Imperial ones. If you can get this combo, I know a lot of these are late game situations, but if you can get this situation uh, with this combination, it is a deadly one. The four Imperials double damage is phenomenal. So as you guys can see early game here, you got Darius, Garen, and uh, you go on the Blitzcrank. The only want to go, the only reason for that is you want the Blitzcrank to pull uh, the main damage dealer early game or whoever it is in the back line, pull them forward and have both your knights attack them. That's kind of what you want to go down early game. Uh, mid game, you want to try and get Draven. Getting a Draven mid game is pretty hard. Uh, I know sometimes you know, I don't even get Draven to like level 7, 8. So mid game Draven is, if you get lucky enough to get a mid game Draven, then this is probably the build you want to be going down. Now it's always good to put like a Darius and, and you know, a Katarina aside, just in case you ever do get the four Imperials. If you don't, you can always sell them and um, move on from there. But it's always a good build to try and get, if you can get it. But don't ever force build, because force building will never will never win you games. It's it's trying to force build and spend all your money straight off the bat and just keep going, keep going until you're mid game with no money and, and you've got maybe like a couple level twos and not sure what combination to go down. You're kind of stuck then. Um, and that is what I see a lot of new people do is they go refresh, refresh, refresh because they got this build in mind and they just can't seem to get an early game and they just throw out all their gold and they end up losing so many rounds and then they ended up just, you know, losing out a whole entire game. And the last thing you want to do is come 8th place in TFT because you all know what happens in 8th place if you lose in ranking. You de-rank so much. You lose so much LP, especially in plat. Um, it's almost double the amount of LP than you would if you win. So it's quite crazy. So you don't want to lose. So you try and want to get at least, if you are going to lose, 5th or fourth, so where you either gain a little bit or lose a little bit. Last thing you want is eighth place. That is horrible. Anyway, so that is probably my third one right there. I know this video is not going to be a quick one. I don't, I don't want to drag this one out. But like I said, guys, it's down below if you guys want to check out the comps. These are my big, these are my top three right now. The Imperial Guard, um, the Predator, and the, and the Ultimate uh, Ranger Formation. The, they're the, probably the three biggest ones right now. So if you guys want to check them out, the link is down below. Go check it out. It, they're really, really cool combinations. But like I said, there's a whole heap of them here. I just want to help you guys out with a little bit of basic tutorial stuff. Um, show you guys there are little build situations out there that in case should help you guys get out of that early game, maybe that mid game and late game push. So you guys get that upper hand and your ranking will start to go up. Like I said guys, this website will give you a lot of different builds and it will help you with a lot of knowledge on a lot of different uh, champions and what to put on those champions in order to succeed late game. 
Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, and hopefully you got some information out of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and goddamn subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Much love. Big G out.